Pocket your blessing, y'all. Pocket your blessing. Pocket your blessing. Territory. Pocket your blessing. Pocket your blessing. Jacob. Oh, God. My God. Inheritance. Pocket your blessing. Hear me now. Esau. Mm. Pocket your blessing. Esau was the flesh represented as an offer that was away from the, the, the portion of where God was sending out. Right? Jacob, he took the inheritance. He took the incline. And he pocketed his blessing. As he pocketed his blessing, there were so many things that tried to stop him. But he kept pocketing his blessing. And everything that we do, we want to pocket, pocket our blessing. What do that look like? That looked like us being locked in with the king. Hear me now. You ever been locked in with the king? See, Esther, she was locked in with the king. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all ever heard of Deborah? Deborah was locked in with the king. She was a prophetess. But she was called to talk to many. Many Christians. My God, pocket your blessing. Many believe pocket your blessings my god there were certain things that Deborah was called to do that even the men needed her assistance but she had to stand back at a way where she still had respect for certain men she was saying certain things from the standpoint of course she had respect for all of them right but there were certain things she had to say from a standpoint where she like bro i'll give you this wisdom the insight that the lord has given me but there are certain things you want to stand in the front of my god pocket your blessings Israelite, pocket your blessing. Why do we want to pocket our blessing? Why would we want to pocket our blessing? Because there are so many things that can take us away from God. But when you stand firm, you'll be able to walk on the forefront of where God is saying, pocket your blessing. Hear me now. Pocket your blessing is allowing people to not play a part in your life that will try to betray you. Pocketing your blessing is when you, my God, you're locked in and you ain't no switching up. Pocketing your blessing to know who's with you. My God, wherever you go, wherever you purpose, wherever country, whatever state that they need you in, they reserve the spot that is just for you. When you pocket your blessing, Jesus will be with you when you leave where you go. My God, why do we pocket our blessing in the season? Why do we take, my God, oh my God, our word everywhere we go? Because you are multiplying. There's a new dynamic mission and where the Lord is saying, my God, many are called and few are chosen. Because hmm. when I pocket my blessing, I'm locked in. I'm not being rooted up. Baby, when the season's on fertile soil, there is so much that I can do. There is so much, my God, that is changing for the entirety of not just me, but other people. Seek to do the good of others and not just yourself. As you do so, that is a seed everlasting and multiplied that many can be impacted by. As you choose to know who is with you, my God, there is such a, my God, ooh, the evidence of the Holy One is, my God, capturing everything around you. As you pocket your blessing to let go of the old and forgive, my God, what was in the past, baby, there is so much that can happen. It says in the first book of Theophilus, I have a great, I have dealt with all the, all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. God has chosen you. The Holy Spirit goes before you. Na -na 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 -na. Mm -hmm. As you accept him into your heart, my God, as you confess him as Lord and Savior with your mouth and believe in your heart, my God, the great repentance is near. Na -na 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 -na. As you repent for the things that you've done wrong, there is a clean slate up ahead of you because it's not in works alone that you get there. God is saying on your resume with the Lord, baby, because of the history of the things that was done wrong will be wiped out. How many people is ready for the things that they did in the past to be wiped out? How many want the sins to be blocked? out in Isaiah 43 and 25 God said he will blot out your sins hear me though love covers a multitude of sins there is so much that he wants to take you to my God that he will prove the miracle be before the next person or the next season of your life there is nothing that can stop you just like the blind man hear me now it was the evidence of Jesus coming forth to reveal the miracle on his life to why he was blind many didn't know how he was going to get to the next of who he was but it was with Jesus being with him we were you be witch. The Lord says, My God, the glory door of heaven is assisting you for your breakthrough. He says, Right here in verse 3, this chapter 1, verse 3, He presented Himself alive to them after His suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. They wanted you gone, but God said, My God, you didn't walk faint. You stayed in the long suffering of the Lord, and He's still, oh my God, the one who fights your battle. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I see somebody throwing the tag like this or raising the flag. Hear me now. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Jumping for joy. Da, 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 because the Lord is with you. Mm. 
Just like Moses, hear me now. Moses was known for the things he'd done in his past, baby. He left the sandals behind him. He had to kick off the things up that, that, that pained him. Hear me now, he did some things, my God. He wasn't, a, he wasn't really happy about it. So he tried to go take another route to another state, to another land, to another place. And baby, even in that place, he still came close to the Lord. There's a fiery bush that's burning with your name on it. There's a fiery bush that's talking back at you. There's a, ooh, da, 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 da. hear me now. Jesus knows. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows. He knows all things, right? And see, when he comes to talk to the crowd, he always spoke in parables. But see, with his disciples, he explained everything. Somebody's been wanting some answers, some resolution. Some people, my God, been saying, I want to be the next everything that God has put. But my God, get, ooh, my little daddy, not the potential this season. Hear me though? But purpose me to be. Mm -hmm. We don't want the potential no more. Because we tired of talking about it. You tired of hearing about it? Hear me now. Yeah, I think you know. He's 